Good morning, everybody. Big day ahead. Big day. If you were wondering how I sleep on the road, this is how I do it. I put some cardboard and stuff on the windows and just pass out. Feels good. We got so much to do. So, gonna take all these things down here, get some coffee, get some food that I got in the back here, and then we're gonna do coffee and music, and then we're gonna go to Billings for a Break Room Balladeer episode. Let's do this thing. <laughs> waiting for this water to boil so that I can have some coffee so I could do some coffee and music this morning. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought but I need some extra for my breakfast too. I have I have this scrambled egg backpacker breakfast here to have. You can see it when it looks like all dried up and everything. So I just need some water for that too so it's taking a little bit longer than what I thought. I got it just make sure that I hit the road by 8 so that I can stop at the truck stop and shower before the break room balladeer at Al's Bootery. There's a train across the way. Good morning everybody. Wow, what a beautiful morning we got here in Montana. I got a busy day ahead of me and I am pumped to get it started. Well, now, to tell your mother to take you back home to Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit of me Thank you everybody for hanging out with me this morning. My name is Jeremiah Craig, and I will see you guys around. Peace. I will drive safe, Colin. I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> Peace, everybody. These eggs are good. Actually, they're like half good. They taste a little bit like cardboard, but Right now it's warm and it's nice. And I like it. You got showers here? Yeah. Can I buy one? Shower number seven is going to be right on the corner there. Great, thank you. All right, so this is what the truck stop bathroom looks like. Pretty simple. It's all I need. Feels good being clean. Let's do this thing. You know, some people might ask, Jeremiah, why do you sleep in your car and then do everything at the truck stop shower rooms? Why don't you just get a hotel? Well, hotels are expensive and they aren't really the kind of adventure that I'm looking for. I really like sleeping in my car, finding places to camp out, because it, it lets you go with the flow. There have been times when I've been on the road where I meet some people and I'm able to go with the flow a lot better than if I had a hotel room, I would have to call things off early or you know, not be able to drive a little bit more or stay in one area a little longer because I had that hotel room and I would have to go there because I would have spent 70 to to $100 to stay there. So 
it just allows me to be more free in my adventure when I sleep in my car. I'm used to it now, so it's not that big of a deal, and it's much cheaper. Showering at the truck stop costs around $10. So if you think about it, getting a hotel room costs 70 to 100, if not more, and I can sleep in my car and then shower and use that bathroom for $10. And it would be cheaper if I had a membership, right? I mean, I could get a Planet Fitness membership and do that, but for this trip, it just didn't seem like I should do that because I don't know how long I'm gonna be on the road for. But when I set up future tours, I will have that Planet Fitness Black membership or whatever it is that lets you go to different Planet Fitness areas all over the place. And I would just, you know, work out while I was there, but also use the showers and stuff. So there's a lot of ways to adventure and to experience travel in this country for cheap. You don't need to have motels or hotels. You don't need to have all of these things. If you want to explore, you can do it for cheap. And when you do that, it allows you to meet people, to have conversations, to collaborate, to learn from people. And when you do that, you learn that most people in this country are amazing. I've had spectacular conversations with folks and 90% or more of the people who I have come in contact with while on the road while doing this for years have been awesome people. Sure, you get the dickhead here and there, but for the most part, people in this country are great. And traveling this way allows me to experience that. That's why I do this. That's why I sleep in my car and shower at truck stops. Boom. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I am with Jill Jessela here at Al's Bootery in Billings, Montana. Thank you so much yeah. for letting me visit. Well, thanks for, for having for us. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. It looks like you have a spectacular store with a downstairs with more boots too, We do, right? yeah. So can you give me the lowdown about how Al's Bootery begun? Because it seems like there's some history here. Yeah, definitely. So um, we opened in 1946. Al Jenkins and his wife started it. Um, and they actually started by building boots. So um, we are now currently the third owners, um, our family, and have grown into Western boots, hiking, work, just expanded it as well as the repair shop. Old boots got soul, so I patch them when they need it. This life has a soul. So I bandage when I'm bleeding. Yeah, old boots got soul. And we carry on this way and we get better every day. Jill at Al's Bootery was amazing. That store is so cool. I am so happy I got the chance to stop there. I got not only the Break Room Balladeer episode, but I got three boot reviews while I was there. It was awesome. Awesome. Now I'm back on the road. I am on 90 East still, and uh, should be coming into Wyoming shortly. All right, so a little bit of a detour here. I forgot my charger for my camera at Al's Bootery, but that's okay because I-90 is closed for several miles throughout Montana and Wyoming because of flooding. So what I'm gonna do is instead of coming back this way and trying to go around the flooding, I'm gonna go through North Dakota. Now, North Dakota isn't my favorite state to go through. It's a really boring drive. But at least I won't have to deal with detours and slowdowns and potentially dangerous flooding. So, headed back to Billings, gonna pick up the Charger, and then we're gonna hit 
I-94 instead of I-90 and go through North Dakota. <laughs> Man, if tomorrow I am pissed off just because North Dakota is so boring, I guess I asked for it. But at least we're playing it safe and not going through any flooding areas of Montana or Wyoming. I-94 North Dakota, here we come. Moving to the streets at a half past twelve. Mama says to watch yourself. With the dirty demons all right behind. Trying to get you in good time. Now hey. you moving slow, heavy on your back. Carrying grudges that the demons lack. Yeah, they just come up with doing that job. Looking for your soul to rob. Can't you see through your holy eyes As the sun begin to rise Yeah, you losing everything along the way On your way to a brighter day Ooh, Is this how the heavens meant it all to be? Is your love so weak Shivers in the breeze. This is how the heavens are meant it out to be. Is your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze? Then you let it all. Oh, you let it all. Great disguise pulling up the collar to cover your eyes. Hey, you're losing everything along the way. On your way to a brighter day. Is this how the heavens meant it all to be? Is your love so weak that it shivers in? 